Yo, what's going on? Double header today, two for one, man. There's so much stuff going on. I can't even barely keep up. First off, I could appreciate it. Uh, I'd appreciate it a lot if you'd go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and then the like button. Uh, two things I wanted to bring up. Two more things. I, I literally just did a video earlier today, and then two more things that hit my timeline. So I'm like, yo, I gotta say something about this shit. First thing, the whole uh, Jesse Smollett situation. Um, dude, if you don't know, he got his charges dropped. Uh, the prosecutor decided to go ahead and drop all the charges on this guy. And uh, if you know, remember the story, he had said that uh, two guys jumped on him in MAGA hats or some stupid story like that. And as the information started to unravel, it turned out two Nigerians were paid to do it, allegedly. Somehow, the charges got thrown completely out the window. I'm not sure what the hell happened with that whole situation. This dude probably has crazy pull. That's the only thing I can imagine. His pull must be ridiculous. He must got a sick amount of influence or somebody. He knows somebody that knows somebody. But I mean, this is why I say your money gets shit done and connections get shit done. You could probably get away with it just about anything if you know the right people. Um, it doesn't really matter who you are. You know, if you know the right people, you can get away with a lot of shit that you cannot get away with if you don't know the right people, very simply. And I think that's one of them. So, I mean, guy got off. He's not getting charged at all. Everything was dropped. Man's good to go. It is what it is. What do you guys think about that one? I think that's... I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, I, I'm I, shit like this rarely ever surprises me. Um, you know... It's all about connections, man. It's all about connections. You know, you know the right. You know somebody that knows somebody that owes somebody a favor. You good? Get away with anything. Um, next thing I want to talk about, man. Cardi B is in hot water right now because she recently had a video that was posted. Apparently, it was an old video from what I heard. I'm not sure how true that shit is, but a video definitely surfaced where she was talking about how she got where she is, and she had to put up her own money. This is a common story she's been telling for a while about uh, how she had to basically invest her money in herself. Uh, I think it was something to the tune of, uh, I think it was $50,000 or something like that. She had to pay for all her own shit and, um, to get her name out there and just working hard in the studio getting music out. And people were saying she didn't deserve it or this and that and the third. But really, um, if it's a situation where she put the money out herself, I can see why she would be super upset about that shit. Well, she probably did. Like, yo, you know, she also had the connections too. You know, connections come out to play. But I mean, it also requires a whole lot of work too. So as far as that goes, you can't really take that much from her when it comes to that. But yo, she also said, allegedly, <laughs> that... She would like, uh, since she used to strip, dudes wanted to smash. So they would, uh, you know, ask her what's good with hitting it or whatever. She would say, oh, you want to hit? Come on through the hotel. And then um, she would drug the dude, take all his stuff while he was asleep, and then bounce. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why would you admit this on camera? Why? <laughs> Yo, she she has a, a penchant for, like, talking too goddamn much. And it looks like it might have came up and bit her in the ass. Uh... I mean, really, like, if a guy's gonna be, like, purchasing ass from a female and you're gonna go back to the hotel with her, you really have to be, before you get yourself involved in a, a, a shady situation like that, you really have to consider all aspects of what could possibly go down. Like, yo, you could very much be walking into a setup. You could get in a hotel and dudes might kick the door in a few days later or a few minutes later and they could be armed, you know? You could get there and it could be somebody waiting to catch you out front before you even walk in the joint like it's it's a whole lot of different ways that can go so i mean i kind of feel like since if you're going to be engaging in that type of shady activity you really have to see that as something that could possibly happen so you know that's one of the risks you run um i can't say that you know i've ever been in that situation where i've had to actually pay for no no butt like that for real but Dudes out there really getting down like that and like she's out there robbing these cats <laughs> Like people are upset because the whole me too movement of course is one-sided as fuck. I mean like yo really I mean again, you know, I'm traditional with the shit personally. So I kind of feel like when it comes to that I Can't say that a dude getting drugged and his money taken and but not his body not being violated Is the same as a woman being drugged and being violated. That's that's two completely different things. 
and then like yo with the ball field with the ball game uh excuse me the uh playing field or what have you it's a completely different ball game when it comes to females and males like we're not playing by the same rules like there this is one reason gender equality is not fucking real i i believe gender equality is not real because you got one group of people who do one set of things and another group of people who do another set of things and that's really the way it is um you know, you can look at it even even insurance. Like, if you look at what feminists are complaining about, how like, yo, we need to we need gender equality. Like, that's complete bullshit. Because if you really wanted gender equality, y'all would be complaining about paying less than men are paying for car insurance. But nobody ever complains about that shit. An 18 year old male having car insurance is gonna pay almost I, I think double or three times more than a female with car insurance who's 18 is gonna pay. But nobody gives a fuck about that because feminism is basically about having the upper hand and the advantage or, or uh, having a privilege over top of men. It ain't really about equality, so I don't believe in the whole fem feminist movement. This shit is garbage. Um, you know, certain things men can get away with, women can't. For example, a man can go out and smash 30 chicks. And it's like, yo, this dude can write a book, How to Smash 30 Chicks, and sell that shit. If a female goes out and smashes 30 dudes, only thing she can talk about is the encounter somebody might be interested in, but nobody gives a fuck on how she did it because it's easy for a female to smash 30 dudes. So it's not the same. It's a completely different ball game. And the reason being, again, is because men and women are in different lanes and the lane should not be confused at any given time. So with that said, I believe that with this particular scenario, um, if you're going to be out there engaging in some shady shit like buying ass, shit might happen. So you got to be careful of that. No, is Cardi B wrong for it? Absolutely. You shouldn't steal shit from anybody. <laughs> you shouldn't be lying and motherfucking stealing people and no shit, stealing from people or nothing. But that's just me, man. I don't know. So, and anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, I'm gonna try to come at you guys again within the next few uh few days. If I get some time to do another video, I will. Um, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 200. I'm at like 173 now. So if you can subscribe, so I can get at least to 200 followers that means 200 people are listening to me run my fucking mouth i'd appreciate it meanwhile you guys have a nice one peace